to James Pindle for the next question. Thanks, Josh. Senator Shaheen, uh, we both heard from you guys in the campaign that you're both pro-choice, but earlier this month, you brought this issue of abortion into the campaign when you started running ads. Uh, so why did you do that? Um, I trust women to make their own decisions about their reproductive health care all of the time, not just part of the time. And that's a difference between me and my opponent, because he supported the Blunt Amendment, um, allowing employers to determine if their employees should get access to birth control um, for any moral reason. He supported the Supreme Court decision in Hobby Lobby, which would also deny um, women access to birth control. Um, their employers could make that decision. And when he ran for the Senate in Massachusetts in both 2010 and 2012, he was endorsed by anti-choice groups who said he voted with them 80% of the time. When he ran for office, he opposed the Freedom of Choice Act, which would codify Roe v. Wade. Well, I believe women need, in New Hampshire need a senator they can count on in Washington. Um, that's what I've supported, um, and that's what I will continue to support. Senator Brown, are there differences on this issue? Well, first of all, I'd like to say what my position is on this because Senator Shaheen has made this a central part of her campaign, distorting my record on this very important issue for women. We're both pro-choice. We both believe Roe v. Wade is the law of the land. We both believe that women should have access to health care, and we both, both believe that women should have access to contraception. We do have some differences. Uh, I believe in a conscience exemption. People of faith should be able to practice their faith without, once again, the federal government telling them what to do. I believe that we should have more adoptions. I think it's such a central part of who we are as people. And also, I believe that uh, parents should play a role uh, in that very important decision because there are great people on both sides of that very, very important issue. And as I travel around our state, while women are deeply concerned about that, they're also concerned about how they're going to pay their high electric bills, how they're going to pay for the, the high cost of Obamacare as a result of Senator Shaheen's vote with the business mandate coming in after the election. How are they going to keep their small businesses up when Senator Shaheen has voted 100% of the time against their interests? That's what they're also talking about. They're not single-issue candidates. Senator Shaheen, 30 seconds, and we've got to move. Um, well, again, I trust women to make their own decisions all of the time, not just part of the time. Um, Scott Brown will tell you he's pro-choice, but what you need to do is look at his record. And when you look at his record, you see that um, he voted for the Blunt Amendment, that he wants employers to determine if their employees can get access to birth control, that he supported the, he opposed the Freedom of Choice Act, which would codify Roe v. Wade. We need somebody in Washington who's going to support women all of the time. All right, we're going to.